As I said earlier, we're here today with Dr. Troy Dryling. How are you doing again? Good. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, Kelly. So you want to talk to us today about sports and what chiropractic can do. Yes. Okay. Now I understand that if they get hurt, you can fix them. Right. You know, make them feel better, especially impact sports, football, uh, rugby, judo, things like that. But what else can you do? Well, yeah, and that's a good point that you brought up. A lot of people think, hey, we can fix them when they're hurt. Right. Which, you know, I prefer to actually take care of an athlete so they don't get hurt. That's really kind of good my point. mindset. Um, so really, when, when I've been working with um, USA Judo, I've been working with uh, USA uh, Wrestling. I actually uh, worked with the 2008 Olympic wrestling coach, Lee yeah. Kemp. He came out to my office, did some Great. work with him, a couple other wrestlers. But um, one of the things that, you know, when you really sit down with them and really start to explain to them the benefit chiropractic has not only in, in helping them with their performance, but also aiding in recovery, um, they just go, wow, we, you know, we'd never had this. I wish I had this when I was competing. Um, because a lot of these, these older athletes that never had preventative performance-based chiropractic, mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they, they'll get on a table at a tournament and I'll say, have you ever had surgery? They're like, oh yeah, I had my neck fused and my low back Ooh. fused. And then you've, you've got an elite athlete who, you know, is in peak physical conditioning, mm -hmm. you know, something you and I may never ever see um, for ourselves. But, <laughs> but these guys um, are, are being cut on and having things done to them that could have been prevented mm -hmm. if they would have taken proper care of themselves, and, but they didn't know about it. Mindset. We've talked about that before in the past. It's, it's, it's changing the, the, the idea of what can be done to benefit us. Yes. And before we were told, oh, let's cut you, let's fix you, let's sew you up, as opposed to let's find out why you're having a problem and let's do it with a spinal adjustment because we're back to what you taught me a long time ago. And I've heard before, everything runs through the spine. Yes. All the information goes through the spine and goes to all parts of your body. So you mentioned performance. How is it going to help in performance? In well, the, the, well, number one, as, you, as you're mentioning, the mm -hmm. nerve system is the master. Right. So for an athlete, I, I'll do this. I'll, I'll take an athlete, and if you just maybe put your arm out, and we can show the camera okay. here. But So let's say your, your arm's like this, and I'll, okay. I'll push down. An athlete will be weak. Okay. So if we push down, and I'm challenging a vertebra, and that arm goes weak, right. the, the patient would go, whoa. And then I would make an adjustment to that area where there's compression on the nerve. And then we'll we, we re-challenge, and that arm and stays strong. So. So literally, we're turning the power back on in the, in the athlete. Wherever there's blockage, we want to make sure that's not there. Mm -hmm. They've got the best mechanical leverage and advantage. Um, and we want to make sure that um, you know, things are functioning before they head out into competition. Um, with judo, for example, there's, it's, it's all about throws. Oh, and it's yeah, all it about is. holds. Um, my, last, my first uh, judo tournament was just a couple years ago. I'd never been to anything like never seen any sport like it. But it was neat. It was, it was amazing. And, and <laughs> that, that's one of the sports where... Um, some people in their 50s and 60s and even 70s still compete. Oh, that's great. I met, I met this one young guy, I interviewed him, and he'd been uh, competing for 15 years. I go, what do you like about it? He's like, he's like I, I go, what aspect? He's like, it's, there's no one aspect. He's, it's a lifestyle. So wow. that, it's the judo lifestyle. And I thought that was pretty fascinating because that's really, well, when, we, when we start talking about chiropractic, it's not just neck pain and back pain mm -hmm. and injuries. Um, it's performance, it's recovery, it's maximizing your life so that you can do whatever you want to do. It's a lifestyle. It is. Because you've got to incorporate that into your life. Along as, as we're talking about re-educating mindset and everything, you have to incorporate it in your life to, to benefit everything. Um, so judo, so these guys are throwing each other around. You're talking 70 something years old and they're still performing Yes. and, and competing highly. Yes, well, they, they've got a seniors uh, division. In judo. Amazing. I mean, you, you wouldn't see like a Brett Favre or some of these other, you know, older, <laughs> older, older athletes, you know, competing in their 50s and 60s. True. You know, you don't see an NBA player in their 50s still competing mm -hmm. competitively. Um, maybe golf, it's not, as, it's not as traumatic, but judo's pretty traumatic, mm -hmm. or it can be. And so I, I've been honored to be able to, you know, work with these uh, different athletes. Also took care of uh, the Colorado Rapids, which is a major league soccer team. Yep. Uh, they just won the uh, MLS Cup. Did they? Uh, beat Toronto. So there's a group of us that have taken care of these athletes. And it was an honor for me to go to Seattle, uh, go down in the locker room. Uh, the trainer got me in, and the uh, trainer got adjusted. All the athletes got adjusted Good. before they went out and played uh, the Seattle team. And it was, it was amazing just to have the opportunity to, to work with these guys that love getting adjusted. Um, you're there to help them perform. I'm mm -hmm. not taping their ankle. I'm not doing ultrasound on them. Which is, which is what the trainer was doing. 
So it was a great relationship that we had worked out. There was no, you know, I'm better than you or you're better than me. Wow. It was, a, it was it, it, like you said earlier, mindset to being open to what's right. possible. And these guys won the cup first time uh, mm -hmm. in, in a long time that they've uh, mm. done that. And uh, I had another story of a friend of mine in, in Atlanta. Uh, he was working with a high school team um, who actually won the state soccer championships. Mm -hmm. Not that it's about soccer, but soccer's pretty high impact. Yes, it is. Well, it can um, be. It, it, <laughs> that was my first major league game I went to, and I was oh. like, oh, my gosh. I couldn't believe what, what I saw with the traumas. But uh, they get, they get this guy, he coached uh, his kids' soccer team, mm -hmm. and he was the chiropractor. He was adjusting them. They won the semifinals, and the, the speech from the other coach was, great game, you guys. Uh, we had four players out. They all had injuries, but, you know, you guys really played good, played your hearts out, but we were down four guys, so congratulations. Okay. That was the same exact speech that, that, that the coach who lost up until the finals, mm -hmm. same exact speech. The coach that lost the finals was like, great game, you guys. Uh, we had three or four players out on injuries, but congratulations. I can see why you guys are champions. Sounds like an excuse. And, and this was the team that took the championship and they, they, they were looking around and this chiropractor's looking around going, none of our guys are injured. Hmm. I wonder why we won the championship and all these other great teams, the reason they lost is because they had injuries. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just, it's just, it's not coincidental that we're seeing more winners come out of teams who have chiropractors on staff that mm -hmm. take care of them, uh, that help manage them. Um, and also now we're starting to see some nutritional things too. Like uh, one of the new things now is like coconut water which is full of vitamins. That's like the new Gatorade. Which coconut water. Coconut I haven't heard water this one. Or coconut milk. I like okay. coconut water. I like water coconut milk. For, for athletic performance. It's full of minerals. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very good hydration. It tastes good. Um, rather than, you know, you, I go to these judo tournaments and these different tournaments and they're, they're selling hot dogs and, and candy bars and Cokes. And, okay, I'm guilty. And, and we're all guilty <laughs> of it, but not for an athletic performance. Sure. You shouldn't be eating candy bars and having no, uh, you, red, red licorice ropes before you compete. No, I agree. You should be eating healthy, Whole foods, we're always talking about that, but things that are going to to help you and your body have that peak performance is what we're talking about. Yes. So it's interesting because, again, we're always thinking that, you know, chiropractic and doctors are there to just repair. Mm -hmm. But that's a good point, that, that keeping the body in the line and getting everything adjusted, as well as everything else we talk about, food and nutrition, is getting you at the peak performance. Yeah. And, you know, when I was at the, the, the last judo tournament I covered, mm -hmm. I adjusted over 100 people coaches, uh, refs, uh, and, and of course players. And one of the guys that came up to me, he said, hey, I just wanna, he was, he was, the, head, head, he, he was the head referee. So he was running the whole thing, mm -hmm. big time. He came up to me and he said, I really wanna take the time and thank you for supporting my daughter. And his daughter is in line uh, for the 2012 Olympics. Awesome. Uh, in London. And uh, she, she made a run before, four years ago or a couple years ago and got hurt. But she's back at it and we brought her out to our office uh, she spoke to our patients mm -hmm. and she just talked about these five things that we have, we've been talking about. Um, getting adjusted regularly. Mm -hmm. she, 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 I was the first one that really introduced to chiropractic. When I first adjusted her at a tournament, she's like, no, I really don't want to be adjusted. It's my shoulder that hurts. That's part. <laughs> I go, listen, let me just check you. And when I, when I, when I saw her uh, at the office, she's like, you remember that? I go, yeah, you were my, you were my first judo patient that I adjusted right. and you're high level. And yeah, I'm, I'm your doctor. I'm taking care of you. So she was surprised to do that. But she talked about getting adjusted. She talked about proper nutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, she talked about exercising right. She talked about eliminating the toxins. And then she also talked about that, that mindset. mindset. And w after we did a, an interview with her, we took her to this mixed martial arts studio, mm -hmm. which we've been working with. And as you know, um, that's a pretty traumatic sport yes, as well. Is. And she went and um, these guys were, they were, these were high level m mixed martial artists. They were asking her questions on mindset and the, the difficulty of, you know, if you're not doing good, how to, how to overcome mm -hmm. that. And she was amazing at just that. And, and at 22 years of age, uh, Anna was, was amazing. And, and her dad thanked me graciously for bringing her out and supporting her and raising money for her to, uh, you know, hopefully uh, fulfill her dream of going to the Olympics. That's great. I mean, it's, it's all mindset and it's all the things we talk about all the time. It's been great. You want to be a performer, you want to be an athlete, get adjusted, get everything in line, and work with Whole Foods, and go see your chiropractor. Yes. Thanks again. Hey, good thank seeing you, you again, yeah, Dr. Good Troy. To see you. Thank it's you. Been great. Thanks for your time. Let's go out and work out. That's right. Online, you know? <laughs> <laughs>